Welcome everybody to my show. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I'm your host Ryan, and recently in the news, Brian Cushing of the Houston Texans had his four game suspension upheld by the NFL. So bing, I thought, why not do a piece on the bad boys of the NFL? I'm going to review some current suspensions and how they're going to affect their team. So let's start it all off with none other than Brian Cushing. Outside linebacker for the Houston Texans, reigning defensive ROI or Rookie of the Year. This dude is an absolute monster. Serving four games for PEDs, a.k.a. performance enhancing drugs, a.k.a. probably on the juice a little bit. Um, yeah, dude's just straight jack, so it doesn't surprise me, um, you know, the guy's on the juice, so, um, yeah, so he's, he's gonna be missed definitely in the Texans D, run D especially, uh, the guy replacing him is supposed to be a guy named Xavier Adibi, who is no one that I know, and I doubt that any of y'all know who he is either, so that just tells you kind of the discrepancy they're gonna be missing there, so, um, if you're gonna go, if the Texans are going up against a run stacked uh, kind of offense in Miami or something like the New Look Niners with my boy B. Westbrook, uh, I think you're gonna have to think twice about going with the Texans on that one. All right, so next on the list, Public Enemy Number Two. Actually, Public Enemy Number One, in the Rooney family, num none other than Santonia Holmes. Now playing for the NYJETS Jets. Now this guy, he's a piece of work. Four game suspension for substance abuse, aka Mary J. This guy, I mean, he's a proven wide receiver, former Super Bowl MVP. Just can't stay out of trouble, this dude. So now he's got the four game suspension. Uh, Jets got a lot of wide receiver depth, though. Braylon Edwards. Drops the occasional ball, but he's a pretty decent wide receiver. David Clowney, speedster on the outside. And they also got sure hands Jericho Cotri. Um, old man Laverne Skulls. Uh, he's been in the L a long, long time. Um, so they got a lot of options. I don't see the Jets uh, being affected too, too much by uh, San Antonio's suspension. So uh, don't be afraid to ride that jet all the way. Well, finally, we go to the uh, most publicized suspension in the NFL this year. My man, Big Ben Roethlisberger, caught with his hand in the cookie jar one too many times. Second sexual assault accusation, so um, league suspended him six games currently. Mr. Roger Goodell is thinking about uh, dropping it to four games based on good behavior, so I don't know what that means, but... Um, he might get it four game drop, but uh, the Steelers are going to be hurting without Big Ben. Like, like hurting. Um, backups right now, Byron Leftwich. Uh, they also got Batch and Dixon, but none of those dudes is Big Ben. Big Ben, two-time Super Bowl QB champion. He's one of the best passers in the league. I mean, I know sometimes his numbers don't show, but he can get the job done straight up. Leftwich, Dixon, or Batch cannot get anything done. Leftwich stole a starting job last year for Tampa. He chucked it up for three games, and he got ousted. Enough said. If he's the front runner, the Steelers are in trouble. I used to think that if Troy was in the lineup for the Steelers, they always had a shot. I mean, that Steelers D, one of the best in the L. But even I don't know anymore, even with Troy in there. Um... Steelers are going to have a hell of a time, so uh, be careful picking the Steelers in, in the first couple weeks here, especially, all right? So uh, now you're all up to date on uh, some of the uh, current NFL suspensions and uh, how they affect their team. So uh, before you lock in those week one picks at BetUS.com, make sure you take these things into account. Now I'm going to be back uh, later on with my week one guaranteed, so uh, keep it locked, and I'll catch you on the flip side.